be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. 
And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. The gospel, that is the good news, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that praise God the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's a living, loving saviour, my friend. He desires to save your soul this afternoon. I wonder, where will you be throughout all of eternity? Will you be in heaven? The only way you can be in heaven is through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. As I said before, the gospel is how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures and that your soul could be saved, my friend. If you come in repentance toward God, that is, and change your mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. 1 Peter chapter 2. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envyings, or envies, and all evil spe uh, speakings, as you desire the sincere milk of the word that is the word of God that ye may grow thereby. Again this is written unto Christians. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men but chosen of God and precious. Ye also as lively stones or living stones are built up the spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is being made the head of the corner. And the stone of stumbling, and the rock of offense, even to them that which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, again this is speaking to Christians, a royal priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar people, uh, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. My friend, if you're not saved, you're in darkness until this point of time. You need to be called out of darkness into the light of the glory of God, seen in the face of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He said, I am the light of the world. He that calleth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This can be yours this afternoon, my friend. You can get right with God. Your soul can be saved. You can receive forgiveness for your sins only through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they may behold, they shall behold, Glorify God in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, or as governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers, and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that uh, with well doing he may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God, 
Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. For this is thankworthy if a man for conscience to work God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your fault ye t shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable to God. For even hereunto were ye called because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us, us an example that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth, or no craftiness was found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, reviled not again, when he suffered he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who his own soul bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live under righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. You see, you and I are like sheep. If we're not saved, if we're not children of God, we are like sheep. Oh, we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him. That is, the Father hath laid upon the Son the iniquity of us all. He was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. So if you come in repentance toward God this afternoon, my friend, that is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. Be honest before the God of heaven. And then you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Your soul will be saved, my friend. That's what God wants for you. God is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. Repentance being a change of mind. Simply agree with God, as I've said, that you are a sinner, and then put your, put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ wants to save you this afternoon, my friend. What will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ? He'll either be your Saviour, or he'll have to be your judge, my friend. Yes, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you have that everlasting life that can only come through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who died upon the cross that your soul could be saved? First Peter chapter 4, For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Again, this is written to Christians. For he that has suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of God. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, when we worked in lasciviousness, lusts, excessive wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, wherein ye think it strange, they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. We shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. In other words, God is ready to judge the quick and the dead. In fact, God has given, the Father has given the job of judgment unto the Son. The Father judges no man, but hath given all judgment unto the Son, that we might honor the Son as well as the Father. You see, the Son died on the cross. The Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is He your Saviour, my friend? You need to make Him yours. If you do not make Him your Saviour, He will be your judge in a coming day. If you die without Christ,
just outside of Christ, you're in big trouble with the God of heaven. And there's only one true and living God. We see him fully displayed in the person of Jesus Christ, who died upon that cross that you and I could be brought back to that holy, sin-hating God. You and I are in big trouble with the God of heaven because of our sins. But if you come in repentance this afternoon, if you acknowledge the fact that you are a sinner before the God of heaven, and then you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will be saved. Therefore, this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happen unto you, but I rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the Spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busy body in other men's matters. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? For if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? That is, those who have not been forgiven. Uh, Therefore, let them that uh, suffer according to the will of God uh, commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. You see, once uh, a person is saved, they can never ever lose their salvation. Praise the Lord for that. There's no way anyone can lose their salvation, my friend. If you have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, if you've received him, as your Saviour, you can never ever lose your salvation. It's absolutely set in concrete. You will never ever suffer eternal torment in the lake of fire and brimstone, where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. But if you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and die in that condition, then you will go down to hell, my friend. God does not want you that for you. He does not want you to suffer the vengeance of eternal fire. Who among us shall dwell with the everlasting burnings? We need to ask ourselves that question. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, and yet God will have all men to be saved and to come under the knowledge of the truth. You need to come to the one who said in John 14 verse 6, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There's one way of salvation and one way only. That's through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I quoted this verse earlier. Acts 4 verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given 
Freedom of men will cry, we must be saved. If you are not saved, you will remain in a lost condition, my friend. And you'll go down to hell at the moment of death. God does not want that for you, my friend.
they they did well they did, but they were guided by the power of the Holy Spirit. And they were guided as the Spirit of the Lord guided them to write down what was spoken to them by the Lord from heaven. Yes, the Lord gave these words. And we can fully trust the word of the living God of the Bible. We can fully trust it. Because God says that God be true and every man a liar. We need to understand that we are in trouble with the God of heaven. Why? Because of our sins. Our sins are taking us down to hell, my friend. And God does not want you to go down to hell. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repentance being a change of mind. Just agree with God that you are a sinner. Be honest before the God of heaven. And then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. You see, if you die in your sins without forgiveness, you will be in hell, my friend. God does not want that for you. He wants you to be with him for all eternity in heaven. But we cannot be there apart from faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sin. Remember, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Who is to do this? Look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, and thanks for listening.